Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a stunning AI image generator. This thing is just as good as or even better than Mid Journey, and you can use it for free. Let's dig in. Okay, first you want to access cgdream.ai in the browser. You'll find a link in the description below. Now, first up here at the top right, I'm going to show you pricing. So as I said, this is free. You get 3000 monthly credits or 100 credits per day. There are paid plans if you want to do more. First, I'm going to join by clicking join up the top right. I'll go ahead and sign in with Google. Okay, once you're signed up, you'll notice here we have been taken to the gallery. And this is a great place to start and go through and look at what some of the possibilities are and the styles. So what's great about this is you can provide your own text to create the image. Or if you like one of these, you can use the prompt from an image you find here and just make modifications to it. I really like this one here on the right. In this example, I'm going to create an image to use for my marketing of my school of rock. I'm talking about bands that rock. Led Zeppelin. Okay, so I'm going to click on this image. Now, once it loads, you'll see down below the prompt. So here you can read and see how it was written and how it got these results. So I like this, but I'm just going to modify some of the text here. You can simply click down into this field and modify your text. The key piece I added here was that the girl has musical ideas exuding from her brain. Okay, over here on the right, I'm going to click generate. But before I do that, I want to show you up here, you have options for the size of the video. Maybe uh, you're in need of something that is more landscape style. You can opt for that. You can also ask for a number of variations up to four. I'll go ahead and do two. For the AI model we're using, we're going to use Flux. Here you have the quality versus speed option. I'm going to go for fast in this example. Auto enhance short prompts is nice because if you want to do just quick short prompts, it will automatically enhance them for you. All right, this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and generate. Okay, and we can see there are two images that are being generated at the same time. Whoa, that's pretty wild. As you can see, these options have maintained that original image that we started with. However, it didn't do such a good job at providing those musical thoughts. I was hoping for something that had musical notes and notation, but I'm not seeing any of that. So I can go ahead and come down and add that detail to my description. All right, let's try it again. Generate. Okay, so here we have two more images. Again, they've maintained that original look. Again, I'm not seeing a little bit here. I'm seeing some musical notation, but not the amount that I was really hoping for, but still a very cool image. I happen to like this one on the left. So what I can do is come up here and click the download button, and I can go ahead and save this to my computer. Okay, something I want to call out, you'll see down here that it shows that I have used 14 credits to create four images. So that would be about three and a half credits per image. And again, you get 100 credits per day, and you'll see up here that I have 72 credits left. All right, let's now go back to the home page, and we're going to click Start Generating for free. And this time I'll generate from scratch with my own prompt. So I'll just go ahead in here and delete the entire prompt. And now I can compose my own. Okay, a surrealistic image of a girl who is enjoying music. The image shows musical notes and other music related icons in her head and around her depicting musical ideas. Let's generate. Whoa, that's pretty wild. 
The one on the right, I'm not so sure about, but the one on the left does show a better interpretation of my prompt. So again, I can go ahead and download this and save it to my computer. All right, and that is how you use CG Dream to create stunning images for your projects. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.